Hello and welcome to the 56th video in this series for Beginners Programming in C. So the final video on the linked lists here and we're going to look in this video at how we might insert a car into our linked list because we've looked at adding at the start, adding which will add on to the end and we've looked at deleting in the last video and now we want to try and insert. Now there are lots of ways we could do this and the way we're going to do it again to keep things simple in this video is we're going to insert by getting the name of the previous car in the list of where we want to insert. So for example if we had a Ford, Audi and BMW and we wanted to insert a car after the Audi then the function will ask us for the name of the car that wants to proceed our new car and we would type Audi. You'll see how that works in a minute. So I'm just going to copy this code here now and put in a new command and call this insert and now as always we'll return the start pointer like so and print the list and now we can go up to write this function now one thing um, I've said in the previous couple of videos all this code we have here so far with the adding and, insert, um, and deleting and adding to start there's it's not done as efficiently as possible I want to make that absolutely clear. I've separated everything out um, to try and make it as clear as possible what's going on. And you might already have noticed that we've got quite a bit of code that sort of repeats itself, um, particularly with the adding, setting up the various pointers and the deleting, setting up various pointers. Um, and there's ways that you could streamline all that probably into a couple of other functions to reduce the amount of code in this file and certainly to reduce the amount of code that's repeated because for example if we ever decide to change the names in these structures or something we would need to hunt around a lot in this code and find the areas to replace the names and whenever you see in your code code um, being repeated it's often good to try and find a way to streamline that but for the sake of this tutorial and keeping it simple we're going to have a lot of duplicated code because I want to keep everything separate. So for our insert function then we'll take the definition of the delete and what we'll do now is we'll just change the name delete obviously here to insert and now we think about how we might actually want to do the insertion there. So the first thing we need to do is obviously ask for a name. Now I think we've actually got some code I can use here to get a name already and then yes I'm going to do it here and I'm also going to take these two pointers here as well so it should already jump a little bit out that we're taking essentially exactly the same code and using it here except now I'm going to put um, insert new car after car name like so so we know actually what we're doing and I can't spell as usual but never mind I'm sure you're used to that by now and a colon okay and inside input then we'll store this car name and again there's no input checking in any of these uh, code files that we've done in the last few videos this is keeping it as, as slim as possible so what we want to do now is set up a couple of references and one of them is going to be called the let's call it the after car and this will be set equal to our start pointer so the first car on the list and we'll also have new car which will eventually be the new car we're inserting and at the moment that has a value of null now the first thing we need to do obviously is see whether what the, the way we're going to do this in fact is we're going to loop through the entire list and find the car that has the same name as the name we've entered here but we might already have that name because it might be the first car on the list and again I'm going to do a quick bit of copy of some code here and just take this string compare here so the first thing we can do is we can say that if and I'll just take take this out if our input name is the same as our after car name then we know that it's already the first car on the list because it's pointing to the start pointer and we actually want to make our new car here so we'll just say that our new car is equal to make new car otherwise what we have to do is actually iterate through the list and until we get to the end of the list so what we can say is that while the and remember the after car is at the moment when we start this while pointing to the first car on the list so we can say that while the after car next is not equal to null so while we have some cars to go on the list then what we'll do is we'll set our after car equal to its next car so the next was pointed to by next and now we can do this string comparison here and see 
and I'll just copy and paste that in here if the next car on the list then has the name that we entered. So again, we compare with the after car, etc, etc. And if it is, then we'll make our new car, except this time, now we found it, we'll break out of the loop. And crucially, when we break out of the loop here, the after car is also pointing still to the car that we want to proceed our new car. I didn't say proceeds, I said proceed, by the way, then, in case that wasn't, wasn't clear. So now what we can say, of course, is that we might have entered a name that doesn't exist on the list. And if we did that, then new car will still be pointing to null, because it won't have been created, because we won't have found a string match. So what we can say then down the bottom here is that if our new car is not equal to null, now then we have to set up the various pointers for new car to insert it at the right place in the list. And like I said, this is where you should realize we've already done code very similar to this in other functions. And in fact, that would be ways of streamlining this entire file. But anyway, so we can say, first of all, we have to say that the next car for our new car is the same as the next car for our after car. So we have to set that up before, obviously, we do anything with the after cars pointers, otherwise we won't be able to access them with our new car because we're inserting after the after car. So the next thing we have to say is, okay, if the new cars next is not equal to null, so there's another car coming afterwards, so there was a, after the after car that had a following car, then its previous now needs to be set to our new car because at the moment it will be after car. And I'm getting confused saying these things, so I'm sure you are actually uh, watching this. But again, a piece of pen, uh, pen and paper helps a lot in this case just to track out where the pointers are going. So we set up the previous car like this, and now we're ready to alter the after cars uh, pointers as well. So it's next is now going to be our new car, and the previous of the new car will be obviously our after car. like so. And I'm pretty sure that's all of that set up. And what we can also do here then is we can just say else and then do a printf now saying car not found and a new line. And that's all there, to, there is to it. That should be our insert function done and complete. So it should be because I'm never sure. So I'm just going to off screen clear the terminal and quickly run the compile. And it seemed to compile. So let's see if I've made any glaring errors inside here or not and just run the uh, program. And I've got this called, uh, in fact, I've compiled, I've just realized I've compiled completely the wrong program here. I need to, because I compiled my preparation file, which I think I did also in the last video. So chapter 56-0 and ch56, and it hasn't compiled, of course, as well. Let's have a look. Line 163 reaches end of an on void function. So I've missed off a bracket here, have I, somewhere? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Sorry about this. Let's see if I can find this without having to restart the video. And of course, I can't find it. What the world? Control H is the end of the non void for ah okay of course I need to return the uh, start pointer don't I at the end of here okay I'm sorry about that but I really didn't want to stop and restart the video again because it happens so often All right so I'll just try and bring this back over and compile again and things seem to now compile so let's have a go with the dot ch56 okay let's add first of all a car. And let's add another car. And now we have our list of two cars. Now let's try and insert. And let's insert after the Ford. And let's do BMW. And now you can see that the BMW is now has got the behind the Ford pointer. The Ford has the BMW ahead. And it seems to have fitted in the list. And now we could also do our delete. And let's delete the Ford. And you can see the BMW is now the first one on the list. And let's do an insert and let's do after the Audi uh, and let's call it the Merc and you can see that's gone in so everything seems to be going okay and let's just do one more insert and now let's just type some random letters and it says car not found and doesn't do anything with the list so that's it really that's sort of a few videos uh, looking a little bit at linked lists and we've managed to write a little program that allows us to add to the start allows us to add 
to the end allows us to insert where we want and also delete specific items in our list. And like I said, just to reiterate, these co these functions have all been written in separate videos. So the code is contained inside those functions, but there's a lot of stuff that's repeated here that you could probably um, stream streamline quite a lot. And obviously there are ways of doing the inserts and things a little bit better you could maybe insert to according to position number and all sorts of things but this should give you a general idea of how linked lists work and as you can see after this it's not actually very complicated but it's often presented in a very complicated way and it is something that's extremely useful and it's also a good um, exercise to demonstrate why pointers are so important so thanks very much for watching and comments questions criticisms welcome as always on youtube